The anticipation is mounting here as both sides get set for this matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the San Francisco 49ers here at the Overstock.com Coliseum. Yeah, I don't know who dislikes each other when uh, the other person more. Do the teams or the fans? You know, you're either a Raider fan or you're a 49er fan. But look, two teams on the upswing, uh, trying to get back to their glory days. And, and I think they both have a chance. So that's why I'm looking forward to this game today. It's, it's, it, it should be daring. It should be fun. Well, there's so much uh, bad blood between these two teams and franchises and fan bases that they played for years in the preseason. I mean, it's of all preseason games, there's never been more intensity that time of year than when you get the Raiders and the 49ers on the field. Well, you know, you, you have two fan bases. You have two football teams that are trying to control one household. So that's it just makes for a confrontation. It's like having a one-car garage and we got to get two cars to fit in there. What well, turns into a little bit of a battle. So that, I think that describes these two teams. First down, offense readying for the snap. Darren McFadden will run with it, slashing to the right side. He's got room. Good job by the running back that time, finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Running back in motion here. Flyers back in shotgun formation. Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. Having a quarterback get sacked like that early in the game, it puts a, a shred of doubt in the offensive line and also puts a shred of doubt in the quarterback's mind. He's thinking, is this is how it's going to be all day long? Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield. Pryor's going to take it from the gun. Throws the pass. They pick up the first down with that reception. What a way to start the game on offense. Picking up another first down for them. They are in rhythm. And now, no matter what they call, they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen. This play set up by the long gainer. They give it to him on the counter. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line, imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. Yeah, we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out-hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. On second and three, Oh, should have had it. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves, these wide receivers wear. My gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. Flex round! Flex round! So after that last incompletion, it is third and three. The formation here, shotgun. He's looking long. And incomplete. <laughs> and this will be, from 47 yards, the field goal attempt. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal, because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. And it's the same as a touchback, as he's tackled right at the 20.
on first down. Gore's got the toss, secures the football. Going to be a tackle for a loss. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. And a flag comes out. He's got some daylight. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. A lot to overcome here, especially that penalty. And it's third down. Gets past the first wave. piece of running by Gore. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Toss to the outside. No doubt about it, touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead, and it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The 49ers with an extra point try on the way. The flag is down. An extra point is good. Defense. The defense, a little jumpy right there. The 49ers lined up now for the point after. That'll stop the clock with that timeout. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Quarterback, quick toss to the outside. We talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Jacoby Ford with a chance to return one. And he's brought to the ground. Comes out in the nickel. First and ten. He takes it on the counter. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Offense lines up here. Third and four. 
to the right side. They pounce on him there. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. Game of six. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down, four to go. He's got a little bit of daylight here. That's a touchdown. We don't see a lot of them anymore because we have so many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. Got the touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Badden's shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. They go up the middle, able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. And here we have second down. Wide to the left. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. That's a bread and butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. First down here after the run. He's looking to go down the field here. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field, and hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. He steps out. It's first down as they head to the line. Quarterback flips it to the running back. Right past one player. Makes a move and he's free. That leads us to second down. going to be brought down. Good job with the safety getting that sack. I, I, I'll say this. He can tackle, he can cover, and he's showing us he can get to the quarterback. Third and ten. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. The offense says, let's roll the dice and let's go for it on fourth down. Across the middle, caught. They failed to convert, and now a change of possession. And this building not only doubles as the home to the Raiders, but the home of the Oakland A's as well. Overstock.com Coliseum. Nick 
Fadden's a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. You cannot let offensive players get up the sideline of the NFL. That's where a lot of big plays are made. The defensive end that time. Well, he was on the end, and he stopped that run. Going to take it the distance. The 10. To have a great defense in this league, when you get blocked and somebody gets out in the open, you think, there goes an easy touchdown. That's why you need speed. So when somebody makes a mistake, the speed covers it up. They were able to catch that running back from behind and get him, well, get him before he gets into the end zone. First and goal. Left hand. He's in. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first and goal. If you score, now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets the third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run. Nice touchdown. He'll get set looking to convert on this two-point try. Ball is out. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It was a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to haunt them. The receiving team has the recovery. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Play fake here, looking for an open receiver on the right. Has the reception all alone. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. That reception gave them the first down. Running back gets it on the handoff. Now makes the move to the right. And a good gainer. Let's give him nine. Closer defense gets to the end zone. Their backs are against it. The tougher they get. But that time, the offense still able to pick up a few yards on an inside run. Ohio, Ohio. Second down coming up. Flip to the outside. And Tyvon Branch has the tackle. Outside runs take time. And when you run outside, you expect the safety to get up there with that extra time and make the tackle. Good job that time by the safety. Touchdown, and they get one back. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score, they did that. Now the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. The Raiders ready to return the kickoff. Jacoby Ford with a chance to return one. Ball was out. He's brought down. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. The fumble by the kick return team and look out. The football goes out there. They make the recovery. Well, good job by them. Darren McFadden lined up in the backfield. McFadden's going to secure the handoff. He's got a wide open alley. Nice chunk of yardage picked up by Darren McFadden. What a job by the offensive line that time. This running back hit the hole at full speed, and the defense had very little time to react. And that's how he got in the secondary, made a couple guys miss, and gets down there and gets a long run. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on Ohio, first down. Ohio! 
going to take off with it. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Well, that time he's under pressure. Uh, he can't stand in the pocket. He takes off. And as you look down the field, nobody is open. So the quarterback is forced to run, and he picks up some big yards. Drop back, shotgun formation, trying to work that left side. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. the shotgun gets away from the pressure it's away from the stack the Raiders now move the chains bad play call that time by the defensive coordinator it's fourth and short there's only a couple plays you know the offense is gonna run they were not ready and they give up a big first down Flyers got it in the gun, heaving it down the field. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. And the quarterback is taken down. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Raiders official. Marcel Reese's injury doesn't appear to be anything too serious. Yes, he'll be sore tomorrow, guys, but that's not going to stop him from returning today. Third and 17. Heading right. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Halftime, two minutes away. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. And he'll try it left, pitches it back, spins away from the tackle, and he'll step out of bounds. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. That is play number 10 on this drive right where it had to be. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Marching down the field and taking their time. What a nice job by the offensive coordinator keeping the defense off balance. They have a lead, and look at this drive. It's been outstanding so far. Right back to him one more time. They deck him in the backfield. That time I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it cost his team yards lost. Has it. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots, and then it helps when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. Escaping the pressure, put an additional two points on the board as they convert. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. But a flag is in there. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. Offense. 
The onside kick is not legal until the football travels 10 yards. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Raiders official. The staff wasn't saying much about the injury other than it's not severe enough to keep him out of this one. So expect to see him back on the field shortly, guys. He's wide open for the grab. Tackles made. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. First down here after the completion. So, first and goal to go. Frank Gore gets it here. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Second and goal from the two-yard line. And he takes it across. It is a touchdown. Uh, it's a good touchdown by the offense there. And, you know, and what it's done, it's gotten this game closer. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous thing. We'll see if they can keep moving forward after this. Encroachment defense. They line up now in an onside kick formation. Got a flag down here. They have the ball back, and the play's continuing. Illegal touching. Offense. You try the onside kick, and you've got to make sure, first off, that the ball travels 10 yards. That's a penalty. Hey, you know what you say to the kicker here in this situation? If you're the coach, you count to 10. That's how far it's got to go, son. Get the ball 10 yards. Raiders will go with the pistol on this play. First and ten, the quarterback will hand it off. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Batten's lined up as the single back. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Touchdown, Raiders. Oakland Raiders. It's like money. How much do you need? The answer's more. And that's what you do when you're trying to get points in the NFL. Just get more. Good job by the offense. They padded the lead with that touchdown. Raiders ready for action. They're not going to risk the big return, so here's the squid kick. And the tackle's made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31.
the 49ers are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. McDonald's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. First and 10. It's handed to the running back. And they tackle him there at the 34. So that's going to do it for the first half. Raiders are up in this one. We're back here now in this one where the Raiders lead by 16. Danielle's got an update from the sidelines. Let's go to her now, Danny. Guys, I get a chance to quickly speak with Coach Allen during halftime. His team has the lead, and he told me he's proud of the way his guys have battled it out there. He said it hasn't been pretty the whole time, but his players have been resilient, and that's a major factor in the score. Hopefully his players will keep it up here in the second half, guys. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Colin Kaepernick under center. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Looking to go deep. DJ Hayden is there and picks it off. They've got him down there. Well, that interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Badden's lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. Go run it. Here's the handoff. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Nickel formation here for the defense. Here's the handoff to Darren McFadden. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Third down and seven. Jumps up and comes down with it. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Good job by the quarterback throwing the football high. The receiver jumps up, makes the catch, and of course we know the rules. He doesn't even have to worry about getting hit. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. and 10 looks to his left catch is made they knock him down behind the line of scrimmage you got to give the defense some credit on first down there's so many things the offense can do they were ready for that play and they stopped darren mcfadden lined up in the backfield Down and 13. Running away from the pressure. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Steps out of bounds. Well, good job that Number time two. by the defense. Getting Here's pressure the on the quarterback. But you can't let him break the pocket. Look at this time. He breaks the pocket. He's looking down the field. Nobody open. So he decides to run and picks up some big yards. First down all the way. Midway into the third. McFadden. Right side, nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run, nowhere for the running back to go, and they stop him for a short game. Ohio, Ohio! Watch the blitz, watch the blitz! The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Ohio, Ohio! Second and eight. And the give to Darren McFadden. He'll go left. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL 
You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. Fire it out to the left and complete. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Good job that time by the quarterback. Man-to-man -man coverage down the field. When you see it, you got to be accurate with the football. He was that time, and that's why we got the completion. McFadden's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. down and 10. Darren McFadden will run with it up the middle. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Ohio! Ohio! This has been a long drive so far. Second and nine, he gets the toss. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. minutes to go and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station the Raiders offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter Ohio, Ohio. mounting a serious drive he'll throw it over the middle ball slipped out of his hands these receivers in the NFL they are so good now Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason they took their eyes off the football before it got there. The kick is good. Well, this guy's a machine. Every time he gets a chance to go out there and kick a field goal, it is right down the middle. Good job by the offense. Good job by the kicker. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. They come to the line, and it's first down. Action fake. He wants to go deep. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. Second down here. Drop back. Getting sacked. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. Offense lines up here. Dropping back three. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. Hard to get these hits against quarterbacks now, these blind side hits, because everybody's worried about getting hit as a quarterback, the protections. All the smart things they do, getting rid of the football fast, but they couldn't stop at that time. Big hit. The Raiders turn the ball over on down. The defensive captain looks over and...